starting with the Perform Axe, which covers the full face, and it's very important to measure. There's a measuring gauge on the bag, simply goes around the top of their face and below the lip uh, around that size. Never put a mask underneath uh, their chin because, as we'll see with the AF531, if they move their mouth up and down, which they do, it does tend to rub on the bridge of the nose, of course. Now, the Perform Axia is good because it goes over the nose, so you, you simply can't get any pressure source. So I'm going to, uh, so I've measured up and I'm going to place this over my patient's face like this. Nicely in position. I'm going to ask my patient to hold his mask at this point. Ideally, it would be better to have two clinicians doing this. Nurse, 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 physio, whoever. Um, and if you are using two people, um, one person just hold the mask. Try to resist helping with the, the tying, okay? So one just hold the mask in position, the other one does the tying. So I put the two on the top. Then I'm going to just clip in the two at the bottom. Okay, so we're on there. And it's very important to do the two at the top first and then the two at the bottom. So here we go, two top. Now all you need to do is just pull through until you feel that it's rather firm on his forehead. At that point, if it is tight enough, the patient should be able to let go or your colleague can let go at that point and that's their job done. Then you look through uh, undo the two at the bottom, looking through the mask, okay, making sure the bottom part is below his lip as we are shown here, and then again just gently two at the bottom at the same time, so you've got the same tension either side of the mask. And then on this one you've got a little extra one at the top just to make it a little bit more comfortable, so you've got a bit of a cap feeling going on. And that's the, that's the Performats mask. Once it's on, just simply unclip, and then you can take the mask on and off, and then hopefully you can just pop it back on again and clip it back in position. So that's the Formax. The other one is the AF531. Okay, this is the Aura Nasal. Very important to measure first. Always pop the, so the measuring gauge is on the bag, always pop that below his lip first, and raise it up to the top of his nose, okay? Now you can see, this is a medium, but our patient here would actually probably be a small. Now that's because his mouth is closed. Okay, so when you're measuring small, medium, or large, it's just how wide their mouth is. So we've now measured the mask. Okay, we then take the mask out. If you have this packaging, do keep hold of that. I'll come back to that in a moment. And the same principle, two at the top, two at the bottom. So we're going to ask our patient to hold it in position once again. Okay, two at the top and two at the bottom. Now, bef probably before we do clip this in, although I've done that, is what you also need to do is look at this forehead space and see if there's a gap between the space and the forehead. If there is, just press these two together and that will move the forehead spacer. So you're moving the pressure from the bridge of the nose onto the forehead. Okay, two at the top. Always two at the top first. Through nice and gently. Okay, and at that point, as before, here we go, our patient can let go. And then we would do the two at the bottom just to firm that up. So like I keep saying, because of the leak tolerance of the V60 and that really good auto track sensitivity and the leak tolerance is that the mask just has to be placed on their face, not, not really, really tight. So same thing, on and off, just with the clips, okay? So that's the mask, that's the circuit, obviously. Mask on the patient, just connect your circuit up to the mask, very simply like that and then we'll turn the machine on, which will be the next section when we can set the machine up. Innovation and you, Philips.